Jorge Ramos is an anchor at Univision News and Fusion Television, and he joins us tonight. Jorge, thanks for coming on. Thank you. I, I never imagined that I would be on Fox News listening to you criticizing President Trump on immigration, but thanks for inviting me. It's a matter of the principle, and this is the principle, which is that a country has a right to determine who enters it and who gets citizenship, who votes, who chooses the government. That's what a country is. And I can't imagine how you could publicly disagree with that, and yet you seem to. No, what I, what I also agree, uh, Tucker, is that we have a, an immigration problem. I think we all agree with that. There are 11 million people who are here illegally, and they are here because of us. Um, they are harvesting the food that we eat. They're building our homes. They're taking care of our kids. And we have to find a solution. And President Trump, surprisingly, I don't trust him, I don't believe him, but surprisingly in this meeting, he said he wants comprehensive immigration reform. You and I remember, since year 2000, that whenever we say comprehensive immigration reform, that means legalizing 11 million people in this country. And if the president wants to do that, um, I'm all for it. However, I'm not sure that tomorrow President Trump is going to come with a tweet or with a, an interview and change again. Let, 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 let me just stop and, and challenge your premise, which is deeply disingenuous, sure. and that is that it's somehow our fault, corporately all of our fault, that 11 million people snuck in the country are now demanding yeah, to become they're, citizens. They're it's not, hold us. on. It's not, it's not, no, that's not true. It's not because of me. It's not because of yes. most people I know. It's because a small number of employers wanted to pay less for labor, and the Democratic Party wanted new voters. I didn't do that, and there's no they're, reason they're that I should have to live under a government controlled by people who came here illegally. Why should I? They're here, they're here because of you and me. It's simply a matter of supply and demand. They're here simply because there are jobs for them. And also, we have to admit, uh, because in Latin America they make maybe $5 a day. And they can make that exact amount of money here in just a few hours. But we are responsible for them. And so then, we're responsible. Um, so in other words, we're, so because we this is a successful you and I, country, you and I are responsible. And we are responsible be, for them. Because we have taken the time to build a functioning country, a, mm -hmm. a clean, safe country with a working justice system and a thriving economy, then we are somehow morally required to let anybody who wants to come here come, and we can't complain about it? How does that work exactly? No, because every, every time you, you go to a hotel, every time you go to a restaurant, um, they're helping you. They are working for us. Um, the no, National they're Academy not working for me. They're working for me, companies that want to pay less. That's why they hire them. And the probably, owners of those companies make a lot of money. Probably. And we get to pay higher taxes in order to support them living here. Just, just for a while. But, uh, for instance, the National Academy of Sciences recently uh, conducted a study, and they concluded that all immigrants in this country, they contribute more than $2 billion every single year. This is an immigration surplus. And... Not only that. Uh, that's that's no, an absurd no, number. You can, you can laugh about that. I'm laughing because I know a lot about the subject, those, and that's a fake those number. Are the but, facts. Those are the okay. facts. Should I but, trust but, but, you I'd or rather, should I trust I, the National I, Academy I, of Sciences? Right, I'm sorry, yeah, but I believe ooh, you, the National you win Academy the debate. of okay. Economy. But, but I'd, I'd rather, rather than throw around fake numbers, I'd rather get to the principle, though. You yeah. make a fair point, which is supply and demand is driving this. There are people who want to hire illegally, for sure. You're absolutely right there. It's not me, but some employers do. But why should American citizens, who by and large are not responsible for illegal immigration, have to live in a country where people who sneak in illegally get the vote and determine who runs their government? I, I don't understand. No other country would allow that. We all, we all benefit from that. And then, of course, on comprehensive immigration reform, if, if it's true what President Trump is, is proposing, and I don't think he's, he's telling the truth, or that he even understands what's happening here, um, then they might have the opportunity eventually, in decades from now, to vote or not. That's not the issue at this point. We're not even discussing comprehensive well, immigration reform. It's very much the issue reform. for We're me, discussing... an American citizen. I, I, I don't want to be governed by people who snuck into the country. But let me ask you this. If you come here illegally, now you're demanding that people who came illegally have the right to be here legally and get citizenship. Why Eventually, should yes. those people be allowed to bring their relatives from a foreign country? Where does so that right come about from? chain migration. Now everybody like, that is using the I'm term chain migration. Well, yeah, it's chain the majority migration. of immigration is chain well, migration. Actually, so it's not a small actually, thing. It's, it's called, actually, it's called family reunification. Well, call it whatever you, you want. It's the same thing. Do you enjoy, do you enjoy spending time with your family, Tucker? <laughs> well, I'm not going to participate. Look, I'm not. This is too serious a matter to participate in in, well, in theoretical. Let, let me just ask let, you: Why, let, if you let, sneak let, into this say, country, should you have a right to bring your relatives? Let's, How does let's that just work? say that. Let's just say that you do. Well, immigrants do too. 
they do enjoy spending time with their families. And since 1965, and this was inspired by JFK before he died, uh, since 1965, the policy that we have here in the United States uh, favors family reunification and bringing those who have special talents to this country. But, but, so, but you're missing um, it. I'm, but but no, so no one is arguing, by the way, that so, DACA, so the DACA recipients have special talents. Nobody's even... More DACA recipients... No, they were have, too young for that. Okay. They, they, okay. they were too young for that. But, but, so, but that's saying, not relevant my, here. But let, I'm just saying, just I know it's the, the policy. Why should it continue to be the policy? That's, that's the question. Why is it well, a wise policy? We, because I think it's a wise policy. I think it has worked well to, for this country. Just see the number of CEOs, immigrants or sons of immigrants who are leading major companies in, in this country. I think when, when, when President Trump uses the term chain migration, those are code words. He's really saying, you know, I don't want more immigrants from Asia or Latin America coming to this country. I want to stop that. And what, okay. I want to make America okay. white you're, again. Well, you're, those, well, those, what you're doing is throwing... Is, no, no, no. Yeah, be, because what you're doing, rather than engage in an adult argument using reason, you're accusing people you disagree with of bigotry, which is a little much, actually, considering well, that you're demanding that is, Americans who were born here let in people who snuck in illegally and all their family, and if they say anything about it, they're racist. Like, let me, let me I, just you know, say the chain I, migration. I get the game, that, actually, and I'm chain sick migration. of it. Or family reunification. It doesn't matter. That's the principle the law is the, the same. Land. That, that's the law of the land. Is not, How would you not feel if the United States it not, exported the, the, the poorest 10% of its country. population to Mexico, exported the poorest 10% of its population to Mexico, completely changed the mix of Mexico, the politics of Mexico, and undercut the wages of Mexican citizens? And then if anyone complained about it, said, well, you're just a racist, would you think that was kind of a stick up? I. I understand what's happening in Mexico, and it's terrible what's happening in Mexico. I, I cannot defend, and I do not defend what's happening in Mexico. Absolutely not. Is that, is okay. that, was, was that your question? <laughs> no, that's not the question, but we're out of time, sadly. But I know that we will meet again. All right, thank you for thank joining you. us.